right, so we're going to do 5.3, which is our last question for this paper. So in addition to the mainland, Australia is surrounded by many thousands of small islands. Boipelo found table three, indicating the areas for the mainland, islands, and total for each state or territory on a website. Some values have been omitted. Okay, so Western Australia, that's the mainland. That is the island area. And that's the total. So this here would just be those two added together. Okay, so this is all the different territories. Okay, and then here's the percentage of total. So these should add up to 100%, right? Because you can't have more than 100% of something, right? That just doesn't make sense. So let's not spend too much time on that because remember always the questions help us understand the information better. So use table three and refer to Annex to C to answer the questions that follow. Okay, so we still have Annex to C. So make sure that you have this still. So a meteorite fell somewhere in Australia. Write down the probability that it randomly fell in Queensland. Okay, so here, this is the total area. Okay, so because these all add up to 100%, this is basically a probability. Okay, so it is a 20 22,5% probability of landing in Queensland because Queensland is 22,5% of the land, right? So it's not a trick question. That's why it's only two marks. You literally just read it off and you are done, right? Not a big question. Then it says, show with calculations why it could be stated that the total area of the islands of Australia is approximately half of the area of the mainland area of Tasmania, okay? So the total area of the islands, that's the total area of the islands. And then this is the mainland. Oh, that's not the mainland, sorry. That's the mainland of Tasmania. Okay, so let's compare. So it's saying this is half of that. So in order to find that out, we're going to say, well, 3, 2, 1, 5, 9. That's the total area of the islands to the mainland of Tasmania. And let's see what that is. Okay. Three, two, one, five, nine, six, four, five, one, nine. And that's this, okay? So the question said, show with calculations why it is approximately half. Now, this is, if you round it off to one decimal place, is 0, 0,5. And therefore, that's the answer, right? It's approximately half. And so there we've answered our question, right? So the biggest thing is just reading the question, putting in the numbers and making sure that it makes sense. Okay, so we sorted there. We're on to our last question, which is two subparts. So let's just read those carefully. The Australian Capital Territory has a population of 454499. You also got people for days. Determine, rounded to the nearest whole number, the population density of the Australian Capital Territory as people per square kilometer, okay? Now, I crossed this out in the previous one, but we actually are going to have to use it. So this is 2358. So we're going to say the number of people, okay? So the number of people, okay, per kilometer. So we're going to put that in, the 2358. So basically, this is people, and that's kilometers. And our answer will then be people per kilometer, okay? 454. 499 divided by 2358 and it gives me 192,7476 dot 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 and then it said round it to the nearest whole number so we want this we don't want any decimals so we look at the first um, decimal place which is a 7 7 is above 5 so we're rounding it off to 193 people per kilometer squared. Okay, so that wasn't too difficult. Again, just reading, nothing too tricky. Last question of this paper. Give a suitable reason with calculations why this area is omitted from the percentage calculation in the table. So we're looking at the Australian Capital Territory. So let's look there. So it's 2358. So it's already looking quite small. Do you agree with me? It's quite small compared to the total, right? Do you see the total area there? That's 7688. Why is it omitted there? That's what it's saying. 
Well, let's figure it out. So we can actually say, okay, well, let's work out what the percentage would be and see if that tells us something. Okay, so basically you said the territory divided by the total area. Okay, so let's pop that in and see what we get. Two, three, five, eight over seven, six, eight, eight, two, two, zero. Okay, um, and then we want a percentage, right? That's quite useful to put a percentage. Because it said, the question specifically said, why this area is omitted from the percentages. So let's see what the percentage is. So the percentage is this, okay? Now, it's very small, right? So the reason it's not included, because it rounds off to zero, right? Because do you see here that they rounded everything off to two decimal places? Now, if I rounded this off to two decimal places, it's equivalent to 0%. And therefore, we just say rounds off to zero. And that's why it's not included, because we don't really include zero values, right? And that's why it's important to actually go through the exercise um, so just to note you, I also times by 100, just so that you fully understand what I've done. Okay, so that's us done with this video, but also us done with this paper. I hope you um, learned something, and good luck for your exam.